this is Kimpocalypse. And today, I'm very, very excited because Sony finally rolled out, started rolling out their um, VRR auto low latency um, slash Android 9 to Android 10 update. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you here. Um, some things have changed. Uh, not much on, on the home screen. But like, well, let me go to this first. When you go into your help. Actually, this is how you how you check what version you have. Go into your help. Go down to status and diagnostics. System information. And as you can see up here, it tells me my model number, XBR65H, uh, I'm sorry, X900H. And my software version is package 6.1288 dot blah 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 um because that is the newest version that turns this tv into what is supposed to be a gaming a gamer's tv and what i mean by that is uh, you know it's, it's got low input on this tv but it didn't have vr or don't have auto didn't have auto low latency it didn't have uh, g-sync um, pretty much everything that Sony had promised uh, for this TV has not uh, came to pass until I just got the update. Uh, actually, I just got the update at 4 o'clock. It's 418. That's how excited I am uh, to show everybody. And you can see when you go into your settings that everything, instead of it being off to just this side, it's over here. It takes up the entire screen. Um, now when you go in and you go into external inputs you know how you go down the HDMI signal format where you got to change it to enhanced format for like 4k and stuff like that look at what it added now you got standard enhanced Dolby Vision enhanced which was already there and enhanced VRR oh this is so awesome I can't wait to try it out the only problem is the PS5 does not do VRR Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you heard me right. Sony actually wanted to get the TVs ready before they put the update out for the VRR for the PS5. However, they said this year is supposed to happen a little bit more down the road, as in like December, they're going to add the update for the PS5 for VRR. Hopefully, it comes out sooner. Now, if you have an Xbox Series X, you're set. Xbox Series X has VRR, they ha it has auto low latency. Um, I believe it even has G-Sync technology. So if you, got a, if you got a OLED, I mean, you're set with an Xbox. But for this TV, this TV is not PS5 ready, it is Xbox ready, which is what I've heard numerous times over the past couple days that everybody was talking about this being released. Um, Let's see. I don't think there was anything else. Uh, maybe about TV. Maybe. Yes. There we go. And you can see I'm running on Android 10. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's, uh, uh, let me go over here. Aha. Android 10 is what I'm running on. So. Sony finally came through with the promise of the VRR. However, like I said, the PlayStation does not have the VRR yet. Reason I'm sticking with Sony, the PlayStation, that is, uh, is because they promised the VRR. Now, they, they came through on their promise. It took them a year, but they came through on their promise on this TV. Um, however, like I said, the PlayStation is not VRR. Now, I will stick with PlayStation until they say, I'm sorry, the VRR is delayed indefinitely or something, then I'm going to Xbox. And I'm going to tell you why. Xbox has VRR, the auto low latency. I mean, it has G-Sync. I mean, you name it, it has everything that a gamer would like, especially a competitive gamer. Now, I'm not a competitive gamer uh, by no means. I do like to play Halo. I do like to play Gears of War. I like to play the multiplayer. I'm not a competitive gamer. I, I, I play for the fun. That's all. Um... However, if Sony says, hey, uh, the VRR update's going to be up next week for the PS5, boom, I'm there. I already have one, um, and that's what I'm going to stick with.
but if they delay it, I'm, I'm going the Xbox route because at least Xbox is a <laughs> least box, least box. <laughs> yeah. Um, the Xbox is the most user friendly system I've ever seen. Um, uh, plus their customer service is off the charts. Um, uh, I had a problem a couple weeks ago with Sony's customer service. I couldn't get into my account. It says I tried multiple times to get into my account, so they suspended my account or locked my account. Tried to get back into it. They would not send me an email. They said, per Sony, for security reasons, it will be locked for 24 hours. Okay, after 24 hours. Got a thing that says it will, it'll be locked for 30 days now because the same thing happened. Then... I called them, uh, had it up and down with them, and they explained to me, you know, there's something that they can't do, so I was like, okay, that's fine. Got an email the next day saying that my account was suspended for 180 days. Not suspended, uh, locked for 180 days because of multiple attempts to try to get into my account. That would have been all well and good if they was trying, if somebody was actually trying to get into my account, but... About three, four days later, I got another email that said, uh, we're sorry. Uh, it was a bad on <laughs> this, my words, not theirs. It was a bad on our end. Um, it was not your fault. It was no one trying to get into your account. It was a problem at Sony Interactive. Okay, great. They unlocked my account. They gave me a $50 credit, blah, blah, blah. But I had to go through all of that. And if I wouldn't have called and raised 10 kinds, then they probably wouldn't have even looked into it. And the reason they did that looked into it is because I complained so hard. So I had that same problem with Microsoft about five years ago where someone tried to get into my account and they actually did lock it. I uh, called Microsoft. They said, hey, this is what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to um, sign you out of every system that you ever had, even if you already did and you forgot, we're going to do it anyway. Uh, you're going to change your password. We're going to set up the two-step two verification. And boom, I was good. I'm still good to this day. And that took all of like 10 minutes. This took me four days. But anyway, uh, I'm not here to complain about uh, Sony. Uh, I am here to commend them, though. Uh, uh, kudos on coming out with the VRR update. Uh, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised that my TV updated. Because I was looking online and it said it wasn't supposed to be updated until like the 6th through the 10th or something like that. But I'm totally happy with this. Um, I just hope that they do the same for the uh, PlayStation 5 because VRR, you people that sit there and say VRR is not an important thing, obviously do not pay attention to your games. Because VRR syncs up your sound, it syncs up your picture, it syncs up your frame rate, which is the picture. And there is no blurring. I mean, it's it's an absolute marvel to behold if you can if you can actually witness it. Um, but anyway, I uh, hope y'all get y'all's update soon. Uh, just giving you a little update on this one. I'm not sure when the X90J or the X95J is going to get the update, uh, but I know the X900H is supposed to be the first to get the update. So anyway, this is Kim Pocalypse. Uh, like and subscribe to my channel and share my videos and I'll have more for you next time.